tutorial brought to you by tutorialdesigns.com here we'll learn how to create this page fold effect which you can see this is our completed document so let's start let's create a new document and for this width I'll use around 600 pixels for the width and 500 pixels for the height let's create that document and for the background we'll be using a gradient linear gradient so with the same background layer selected let's select our gradient tool it's located right next to the bucket pane bucket tool and in our gradients options here let's select our gradient white and gray with your linear selected make sure your other settings are default normal and let's click on top and hold the shift key and drag straight down to get that linear gradient on your background layer once that is done let's create a new layer and let's draw a rectangle which would be using it as the page so with our rounded rectangle tool make sure you select that and also let fill be checked fill pixels and let's adjust our radius pixels to around 8 pixels for the curve and let's draw in if you draw a rectangle right now you'd see that we not see we cannot see the bottom part here since it's white so let's just adjust our color here let's make it a bit of dark let's say like that and make it dark color the color doesn't really matter now since we'll be changing it in our blending options for this layer so let's just draw our rectangle here so let's align this and with the same layer selected using a shortcut key let's select the document control a to select the document and with our alignment options here let's align this vertically and horizontally once you've done that let's deselect this by pressing control d in your keyboard shortcut and now let's as we've drawn this let's first start with our fold now so we'll be cutting off a part of this page here so let's zoom in on this part once you've done that let's just that a bit okay once you've done that let's cut this part so I'll be cutting this using my uh, sorry this polygonal lasso tool once you select that let's cut a part of this so once you let me click at this point here and you can see that it's really free so once you hold your shift key you would see that you get a straight straight lines which snaps it easily so let's go straight this way and let's click once it doesn't really matter how you select it on the other side so let's just highlight this part of this page here and let's delete that let's deselect this once you have such a type of cut on your page let's zoom back make sure you have such cut here now let's create a new layer and we'll be drawing another rectangle here so using our same rounded rectangle tool let's draw a rectangle and make sure once you draw let's draw a bigger size so when you draw make sure your lines touch at this point and don't go out of these points here so let me show you exactly what I mean let's draw something like this not go above out of these points let me make it easier to show you let's zoom in here and using these rulers select your selection tool with this rulers here I'll just click and drag to get a guideline or a ruler as we say let's adjust that once you have that selected done let's use our rounded tool here again and you see that it automatically snaps if this snap option isn't snapping to you it could be because in the view tab here your snap could be turned off so just turn that on and then you could draw this which will help you to snap with the ruler here once you have that let's go back to our selection tool and control click on our page which we just cut make sure you have that selected and still remain on this layer and let's invert this selection so the shortcut key for that is control shift i to invert the selection back to the document which remains on this let's delete that and let's deselect it control d you can see that we still have this part here that's control z let's bring that in position so you can get rid of these rulers back by clicking and dragging it back to them back to those rulers here it just disappears 
once you have that let's now add a gradient to this page so double click on your layer here and let's add some gradient overlay so let's add a dark gradient here dark gray and I'll be using the style I'll be using diamond and let's reverse that and I'll be adjusting this diamond somewhere around near the curve there near the fold and let's add some bevel here let's make the depth way up to 1% size also up to 2 to 3 pixels let's change the gloss contour here to this one here so we get a dark gradient effect on that and let's add some auto glow and for this I'll be using normal blend mode with a gray color made around light gray make sure it's not really light so that it won't be seen with your gradient backside there let's reduce the opacity and let's increase the size way up to somewhere there let's adjust that so we get a neat smooth glow around this once you are done just press on ok and now let's add some effects to this curve here so let's double click on this and let's add a shadow let's reduce the opacity here let's zoom in to our curve here I mean let's call that fold and let's just adjust this shadow by clicking and dragging there we go let's reduce the distance a bit that's ok once you've done that let's add some gradient to this too and since our fold is in this direction so let's turn our angle a bit somewhere there and now I'll be using a gray to white to gray gradient three color gradient and I'll reduce the scale way up way okay, down let's adjust that some way where you feel that it looks like a shining let's adjust that oh, oops, this side okay once you have that let's adjust this again let's reverse that actually so you feel that you see that it looks like a curve ok once you've done that let's press on ok let's actually make this a real curve so using your shortcut key control T make sure you have your transform tool select uh, option select let's right click on this and select wrap once you select that you get some more options here so let's just drag this one way on this side and let's bend these points from these points here a bit in same goes to the other side once you've done that just check this box you could see we have a turned bend fold effect let's zoom back and see how we have that effect which really looks like a folded page there now let's add some few text here so using my tool text tool I'll be adding some text let's increase the size a bit and let's type in page four. let's go back there and let's type in fold be reducing the fold size here a bit somewhere around there there we go and make this page bold once you've done that let's adjust that in between there and let's give a space there actually okay and let's change the color back to white once you've done that let's add some gradient to this so double clicking on the text tool text uh, sorry layers blending options let's add a gradient let's use a simple gray to white that's okay and now let's add a shadow or let's say a reflection actually for this page here so let's duplicate this layer control J for the shortcut once you have that duplicated let's rasterize this so with the blending option so we'll create an empty layer right below this and let's press control E on this layer here so we merge it and remove the blending options or the other way is right clicking and selecting merge down which merges it right below this let's drag this right below this layer here once you've done that drag it here and now let's open up the transform tool for this so control T for the shortcut right click and let's flip this vertically let's hit on the enter key and using my shift and my arrow key let's drag this straight down let's adjust that a bit near to that and once you've done that let's click on the add mask layer here so you get a mask added to this and we'll be adding this reflection so using my gradient tool and black to white make sure your foreground and background is set to black and white let's click and drag this straight upwards so you get that neat gradient let's try that again oh that's okay and let's reduce this opacity way up to a bit less somewhere around 50 to 60 percent 
so that's how we create I think that's it that's how we create a page fold effect on a page and in the later tutorial I'll be teaching you how to add this same fold effect on a text which would really look more interesting so I hope you learned something about this and do visit my website to see more tutorials that is tut.studiodesigns.com and thanks for watching